In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Git in Windows 11. So this can be really useful if you want to use Visual Studio Code or you just want to start using Git on your computer. Now the first step is to head over to an internet browser and type in Git download and you can click on this top website which is git-scm.com. Now once you're on the official website, you need to go and select your operating system. So mine's going to be Windows, so I'm going to click on this one here. We're then going to install the standalone installer. So I'm just going to click on this top one, which is Git for Windows X64 setup. You can then click on your downloads folder and open up this executable file. Now, all you'll simply need to do here is go through the steps to install this onto your computer. You don't typically need to change anything, so you can just go and press next. You can then click next again and just leave all of these settings as their defaults and press next. Click on next again and press next. Now, just keep going through all of the steps until you get to the install button. And finally, you'll see at this install button just go ahead and click on this now once you've installed this there is one more thing you need to do so I'll show you that in just a second so once it's finished installing you can just uncheck this box and go and press finish now there's one more thing we need to do so go and open up the start menu search for the word environment and click on edit environment variables you then need to click on this option called path and then press edit now we need to go and add git to this list of variables so what you need to do is open up the file explorer on your computer you then need to double click on your C drive, double click on program files, double click on the git folder, and then double click on cmd. Now once you're inside of this folder, we need to head over to the address bar, and you need to copy this entire address at the top. You can then head back over to your environment variables, go and click on new, and then just go and paste in that address that we just copied and press enter. You can then click on OK to save these changes and go and press OK once again. Now, once you've done that, you'll need to go and restart your computer. Once your computer's restarted, open up the start menu, search for the word terminal and click on this window here. You can then go and type into the search box GIT and then press enter. Now, if you get this message, this indicates that everything's been installed and worked correctly. And it's as simple as that, guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.